So, the reports were right. There is a team of superheroes on the Omega base. Well, let's see if this doesn't slow you down. explosion and then I couldn't open this door. The Masters of Evil have attacked the Omega base. But first things first, Bruce. Are you all right? I'm fine, Reed. I just hope they didn't damage any of my work. Wait a minute. Did you say the Omega is under attack? Doom used a knockout gas on the Omega. That explosion must have sealed your room off. This is terrible. If Doom can lay his hands on the experiments here, there's no telling what he'd be able to do. I know. There's several experiments of mine here that I hope are secure. What do you know about the giants that are running around here? Those are the results of the Super Soldier program. Scientists are attempting to recreate the experiment that gave Captain America his super strength. So far, they haven't had much success. Team. Must be making the masters of evil nervous. My security panel shows a gamma bomb has just been activated. You gotta shut it down or all life in a two mile radius will be destroyed. Bruce, you're something of an expert on gamma bombs, aren't you? Yes, I am. Follow me to the primary lab and I'll see what I can do. secondary lab and re-establish the safety interlock. If you say so. Why not? 
see if... Yes. I was able to shut down the Gamma Bomb. We're safe. That was close. That sucker detonated everything within a two-mile radius would have been destroyed. Sounds good to me. I'm no superhero. Mysterio, geez, it's good to see you. Still got a fishbowl for a head, I see. Spider-Man, do you always have to be a half-wit? Ooh, now that hurt. And speaking of getting hurt, step away from those plans before I have to get medieval on you. You idiot. Why do you think S.H.I.E.L.D. has plans for Ultron? I thought everyone had them. I got some this morning in a box of cereal. These plans are upgrades. The good guys want to capture Ultron so they can rewrite his programming and turn him into a shield weapon. That's impossible. Ultron is sentient. Reprogramming him is illegal. Yes, it is. But all I care about are these plans. Ultron wants them for the weapon upgrades. If your Ultron gets weapon upgrades, then my Ultron will want weapon upgrades, and that just won't do. Uh, I've heard enough of your babbling. <laughs> Let's get this This is insane. How can S.H.I.E.L.D. possibly generate an army using the new Super Soldier Serum? All it does is create monsters. This is a disgrace to the people who worked on the original Serum.
The Thing. Thor. Electra. Show no mercy. Yes.
Watch out. There's an aim helicopter patrolling the deck. I tried to take it out with this anti-aircraft gun, but it's just too fast. Yeah, at the other end of the deck. But you can't seriously think you're gonna take that chopper out. Yes. Let's move out! Stay close. Why not? trying to unlock the door to the bridge, but a helicopter keeps strafing the deck. Can you give me a hand? Sounds like a plan. All I ask is that you take the helicopter out quick. I don't think I'm gonna last long out in the open. Assist. I would have been Swiss cheese if you hadn't taken that helicopter out. You'll get no argument from me. I've had enough excitement for one day. Yes. Don't wander off. You should have surrendered. Why not? Buddy, it 
It's only gonna get worse. Sure. I have won again. Of course. You did a good job on the Omega Base team. You saved thousands of lives and billions of dollars in shield equipment. Yes, a device known as the Mutant Amplifier. It magnifies a mutant's natural powers. Until we locate Doom's base, nothing. And since all we're doing is cooling our heels, I want you to investigate a report that there's a riot taking place in Atlantis. See Wyatt Wingfoot, and he'll take you to Shields Atlantis Outpost. Or if you'd like more information, talk to the Black Widow.
Welcome and good day to you. I am Edwin Jarvis, personal butler to Mr. Anthony Stark. This area is where Mr. Stark carries out the research and development of his Iron Man suit. As you can imagine, the body armor has become so complex that a staff of technicians is required. You may walk around and inspect the facilities. I believe you'll already find several of your compatriots here. Uh, yeah, uh, the name's Jack Hammer, uh, but you can call me Weasel. Everyone does. Yeah, and don't worry, I came in through the back. No one saw me. Uh, Wyatt Wingfoot gave me a damaged laptop. Said you heroes wanted to know what data was on it. Yeah, that laptop holds security information for a building called the Imperium. I can find out, but you'll have to get me the password into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s priority files. Oh, there's, uh, there's three possibilities. Jacob Fury, Baron Struker, or Gabriel Jones. Talk to Vision. He'll be able to help. Has Tony Stark got it made or what? He's rich, he's a genius, and to top it all off, he's got the perfect mustache. Gee, I can't see why. Doctor Doom's in control of an army of supervillains, and the Black Widow is working for him. Are you off your meds? The only thing that would make this worse is if the Earth were destroyed to make way for an intergalactic highway. Of course she is. Hey, I've been at the superhero game long enough to know that the hot chicks always turn evil. Probably because evil pays better. If one of Nick's little S.H.I.E.L.D. agents is turned to the dark side, then Nicky will have to figure it out for himself. No, it isn't. If you finish that sentence, I'm gonna put so much web in your hair, you'll have to shave your head. Sure, sure. Ah, splendid. You located the missing cufflink. It was a gift from Miss Virginia Potts when she had been Mr. Stark's secretary. My name is Edwin Jarvis, and I'm Mr. Anthony Stark's butler, as well as the butler for the Avengers. You could say it runs in my blood. My mother and father worked for Mr. Stark's parents. It is a dream of Mr. Stark's that was four years in the making. The top three floors are his living quarters. The rest of the building houses his business interests. No, not any longer. Mr. Stark recently had a change of heart concerning that particular field of industry. This is primarily where new Iron Man suits are built for Mr. Stark. Oh, indeed he does. But as his designs have grown more and more complex, he has required assistance in manufacturing them. It was my pleasure. I must admit, I find news of a S.H.I.E.L.D. outpost near Atlantis very intriguing. Now 
I know the extent S.H.I.E.L.D. is willing to go to to gather information on countries with closed borders. Indeed it does. And now I wonder if perhaps S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have an outpost hidden there. We have the largest deposit of vibranium in the world. To open our borders would be an invitation to those who would conquer us. Over the centuries, fools have tried. But the Black Panther is always there to stop them. Indeed I am. Victor Von Doom has created a sizable army of supervillains. I don't know, but Doom must have a truly grand scheme to risk attacks on the Helicarrier and the Omega base. You are quite welcome. Hello, Ben. Is there a problem? You see. Don't know why, but every time I get around Spider Woman, I get a little discombobulated. I know it's a name Colonel Fury would just as soon forget. Jacob Fury was so jealous of his older brother's success that he turned to a life of crime. Colonel Fury, Red Ralston is on line six. Yes, and to make matters worse, the Colonel was forced to kill Jacob. So you can see why Colonel Fury does not care to dwell on that name. I would suggest you talk to the Black Widow about that name. I am glad to be of assistance. Ah, my cybernetic helmet. Thanks, I owe you one. The mutant amplifier vastly augments any mutant's natural power. So a psychic that can lift a book will become powerful enough to lift a bus. Yes, but it has some serious side effects. The amplifier causes damage to the DNA of any mutant it's used on. Happy birthday, Mr. Grimm. Not much. The serum's only worked on Captain America. There's something very peculiar about his physique. That, plus the doctor who originally developed it, is dead. He'd wind up with a bunch of muscle-bound beasts, just like you saw in the Omega. They're psychotic, violent, unable to take orders. Not exactly what you'd want from an army. Ah, it was no problem at all. Red Ralston is on line six. Well done on the Omega mission. We have the same success in Atlantis. We realize now that Doom had no intention of commandeering the helicarrier. They attacked to draw additional security forces there. Correct. The Omega and the experiments it held was their prime objective all along. Miss Bambi and Miss You're welcome. Are still waiting for you in the main lobby, Mr. Stark. We just received a message from Nemorita, the cousin of Namor. Apparently, there is a riot going on in Atlantis. Unknown, like but for May some reason, the Atlanteans have forcibly Copy removed Namor from his throne. Him. Yes. Which means something is seriously wrong. See Wyatt when you are ready to go to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s outpost in Atlantis. Mr. Stark, there's a Herald Hogan on line two for you. I would not say that name too loud. He is a leader of Hydra, and a longtime nemesis of Colonel Fury. And Miss Heather here in the main lobby. You should ask you. Colonel Fury about Mr. Jones. You are quite welcome. Do you need something else? Colonel Fury, Red Ralston 
is online today. Gabe? Heck yes. He's a great guy. Back in the day, he was one of my howling commandos. Warning. A small thermal He still is. Gabe's one of my top advisors. He saved me from making serious mistakes more times than I care to remember. You're welcome. Uh, hey, how's it going? Thanks. When you get back from Atlantis, I'll have all the information you need. Uh, sure. Anytime.